So guys, this is me. Not actually, but this is how I felt when I actually packed Suzoko. Anyway, if you want to watch full clip, yes! it's up there. Let's go. Hey, before we get into the video, I just really wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you guys for supporting the channel uh, recently. We just hit over 100 views on a video, which is absolutely insane. But 90% of you guys aren't even subbed, so in saying that, feel free to sub. It's free. It's one Do click it. away. It'd mean the world to me. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this and yeah, let's carry on with the video. I've been actually meaning to do a play review on this guy for quite some time now. I've used Vieira on many occasions in a wide range of FIFAs and this guy is the closest thing to Vieira, especially at the price point he is at. Now let's just check uh, Vieira's price very quickly on the market, see what he is currently going for. And he's about 3.5 mil, so for almost the exact same card, and in my opinion, probably a better card overall, especially when you consider the fact he can get upgrades, this guy is a very, very viable option for your midfield and will last you the whole year pretty much guaranteed. And as long as Tottenham do well, this guy could probably end up with like an 88 to, to an even an 89 rated card. And given what his stats are already, that could be game changing for a lot of people. So let's just quickly look at Suzuko. Six foot two, high hard work rates, right footed, three star skill moves and three star weak foot. I really like the high hard work rates because it means he will constantly track back. If he needs to break forward, he can. He's very well rounded. He's a very, very ideal box to box midfielder. However, if you are looking to play this guy CDM, he will do a job for you. As long as you keep him on stay back, he shouldn't really go forward too much. In terms of base card stats, he's got 83 pace, 70 shooting, 85 passing, 84 dribbling, 82 defending, and 93 physical. So across the board, he's phenomenal. Acceleration is a bit on the mess side, but chem style will boost that. And plus in an upgrade or two time, this guy's acceleration will be in the 80s. So you don't really have to boost it, but personally for me, it's the one thing he's really, really lacking. So we'll boost that with the shadow. Anyway, moving on, shooting. He's not really gonna shoot. If he's playing box to box, he might get into a shooting scenario every now and again. However, that 94 shot power, he might not have the finishing, but that 94 shot power does come in handy. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, moving on to passing, he's flawless. Flawless passing wise, he can hold up the ball with his strength. He's got 94 strength, 89 aggression. He's gonna break up the play in the midfield. Defending wise, he's a bit on the low side in terms of overall stats. However, a shadow does increase that significantly. And if you are looking to play him as a CDM, you shouldn't have any dramas just because of how full he is and how aggressive he is. Even coming up against stronger players like Ronaldo, etc., etc., this guy will often body them. You'd be surprised. But to me, his most similar comparison is definitely Patrick Vieira. When you compare the two, both Vieira and Suzoko, they've got the same pace, practically the same dribbling. He's got less shot, less defending. He's got better passing and better physical. In two or three upgrades time, this guy is going to be better than Vieira. In my eyes, Tottenham are gonna go very far in the Europa League. So he should get a couple upgrades. Even at an 84, this guy plays like an icon. My advice to you guys is to definitely try and get into this card now while he is still cheap, because once he gets one or two upgrades, his price may skyrocket. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay and I'm gonna show you a quick glimpse of what he is really all about. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Like, if I was to put in all the clips I have, 
the video would go on for 20 minutes. <laughs> in saying that, overall, this guy is an absolute joy to use. I feel like the biggest positive to take away from this card is just his brute force and his physicality because he's literally a, a brick wall. He's a brick wall in the midfield and won't let anyone pass pretty much. <laughs> Meanwhile, when he's got a shadow card on him, bro, no one's touched him. Like just his tackling stats alone, holy man can slide, he can stand tackle, he can head a ball, like literally everything you want in a CDM, this guy has. Would I prefer him over Vieira? To be honest, probably yes. I feel like Vieira is a lot more clunky than uh, Suzuko is. Um, in game, Suzuko doesn't feel too clunky. In specific gameplay, he can feel clunky at times. However, on the whole, he doesn't really feel clunky. He's got mad passing stats. If you if you need a feeder ball through, just do it. And like dead set, like this kid can pick a pass like prime shabby. That's how good his passing is. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I could not recommend this guy enough. In saying that though, he isn't the perfect player, and neither is Vieira. However, overall, I would pick this guy over Vieira based off the fact he doesn't feel as clunky and he has the potential for upgrades. He also comes with tons of links being, being French and also from the Premier League. So he's easy to fit into a team and he doesn't really break the bank when you consider the volume of a player he is. Anyway, in saying that, I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully this did help. Feel free to smash that like button and subscribe down below. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a pleasure and I will be sure to catch you all in the next one. Peace out lads.